Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Scents. I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a fragrance from the house of Burberry, one that I love one that I wear just about every year around the holidays, you know, late fall, early winter, right when everything starts to really chill out. This one is perfect. It is London for men. I actually got a couple bottles of this stuff, baby bottle and a big bottle. In today's video, I'll be going over with you guys the price point, where you can scoop it up, the bottle, how it smells, all that stuff. So let's jump into it. So guys, I will have this one linked in the description in case you do want to check it out. It's typically available just about at any discounter. And this is a fragrance that you definitely don't want to pay too much for. For under $30, you can pick up a 50 mil size bottle. If you want to go even smaller than that, you get one of these, a little 30 mil one ounce size bottle. And these a lot of times you can find for right at about 20 bucks, sometimes less. You just want to make sure you don't pay retail for it because I think retail, it's around $84 for a 100 mil size bottle. That's not crazy expensive or anything, especially compared to how much fragrances are going for nowadays at full retail designers. Uh, but it is so inexpensive from discounters that you want to make sure to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the bottle. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the box for my fragrance is long gone. I've had this for a long time and uh, I couldn't even tell you where that box is. So here it is. Uh, this is my 30 mil size bottle. My 100 mil size bottle as a tester comes without the cap. It looks the exact same, only bigger. So it's essentially just a plain kind of dark amber colored bottle. And then you have this little piece of fabric that is stuck over top of the glass bottle. You have a plain square cap. It does click into place and on the bottom, you have your sticker with batch code. My batch code is GE13E064. Now, truth be told, I'm not a massive fan of how the bottle looks. I think it looks kind of cheap, like the fabric feels cheap and uh, it's not like cut in an exact way. So it's, it's like a little bit higher up on this side, a little bit lower down on this side. Is it a big deal? No, but it's not the, the snazziest looking presentation. Although I guess some people would really like it. You know, it's kind of a different look. So as I said, Burberry London, this one is a favorite of mine. Has been for years. I think the stuff frankly smells fantastic. My tester bottle has the notes on the back of it here. So we'll give you a rundown of what it says on the back of this bottle here. A uh, top of bergamot, lavender, and black pepper, a mid of mimosa, port wine, and leather, and a base of tobacco leaves and guyac wood. And this is kind of funny. This happens with fragrances a lot. That's Burberry's own note breakdown on their tester. But if you go to the website, the note breakdown is different. In the top, the bergamot and lavender are still there on Burberry's website, but instead of pepper, they have cinnamon in the top. And then the mid is the same other than the port wine note is missing on Burberry's own website. And then in the base, instead of guyac wood, which is what it says right here, they have oak moss in the base on their own website. And depending on which website you look at, you'll find a little variation on that note breakdown. Uh, essentially though, you could think of all those notes that I said as being in the fragrance because you can pick them up. And I'll go ahead and share a couple sprays from this little bottle with you guys. Mm. So how does Burberry London smell? Well, the way it's been described by so many people and myself included sometimes is, it smells like the holidays. Yeah, that time of year when it starts to cool down outside, you wanna be cozy indoors with friends and family, you know, gatherings where people are around and things are being cooked, these big meals. Yeah, it puts you in that mindset. It's relaxing, it's cozy, it's warm, it's sweet. When you first spray it on, there's a tinge of freshness, just a little bit from that bergamot, but that quickly goes away. It's kind of bergamot and lavender together. And then the cinnamon comes out, this warm, sweet cinnamon. 
and that very quickly envelops the lavender the bergamot kind of pushes it down the cinnamon smells fantastic it really jumps it's as i said very warm sweet inviting the port wine note which really i've only seen here on this tester bottle not as many other places that's most often the note that's going to be left out but that port wine note it comes through you do get this little bit of like sticky boozy sweetness helps give it a little more depth more richness and you pick that up pretty early on working underneath the cinnamon the leather here nothing to be worried about it's not a dark leather a black leather anything like that the tobacco actually shines more than the leather does and a note that's not here that you can kind of pick out is this almost pine like woodiness so this tobacco leaf it's got this kind of pipe tobacco nature to it it is one of those sweeter tobaccos it's not you know very dry tobacco it's nothing like that very approachable very easy going sweet the tobacco leaf has almost like a hint of cherry to it and all these things are just wrapped up together and they work so perfectly so this warm cinnamon leading into a touch of port wine a little bit of easygoing leather underneath it all a cherry tobacco leaf a little bit of a, a pine tree woodiness a very hint little puff of smoke it smells perfect for that time of year fall and winter i know nowadays burberry is not necessarily held in a really high regard when they come out with new fragrances nowadays a lot of people are kind of hesitant to give them a thumbs up it's like oh burberry <laughs> okay and hopefully that does change as time goes on and you know they come out with more things that are widely accepted by everybody where people say yes burberry crushed it here but they're in kind of a little limbo land at the moment but i can tell you this one which came out all the way back in 2006 absolutely crushes it again under $30, full presentation. If you wanna save more, you can get a tester like I did. You will not get the cap, so keep that in mind. But what's important is the fragrance on the inside and that stuff, top notch. Now, the only part of this that I feel like could be kind of a drawback is the performance. It's not huge. This is absolutely a fragrance made, as I said, for fall and winter time. Maybe it leans a little more toward nighttime use, but overall fall and winter time. So a lot of people expect fragrances that are gonna be used around that time of year to really push out. They have huge performance, you know, big projection, longevity all day and night. This one doesn't. Projection is a little bit below average. You know, it's not great. You can spray more of it on if you want to have it project further. But frankly, it's kind of that type of scent that works as it is. It doesn't need to project that hard. Kind of like the one, you know, Dolce & Gabbana is the one. And that was not a projection beast, right? But it works really well. This is similar to that. And then in terms of longevity, more just average. The longevity is not too terrible. You know, it's gonna be in that five to six hour range but I do not care about that at all. I think it smells so good that at this price point, it's a no brainer. So there we go, Burberry London. Just wanted to highlight this one today because it's a personal favorite designer fragrance of mine for the cooler months. Thank you guys for hanging with me here today. Stay safe out there. I will see you all again another day with another video. See y'all.